Welcome back. The Mpumalanga government has ordered an independent investigation of two of its departments, Sports, Arts and Culture and Recreation, as well as the Cooperative Governance Department, will be investigated for alleged misappropriation of 610 million rand. We're joined now by the provincial COCTA MEC, Manzam Sibi. Mr. Sibi, I'm hoping that we will, we will be able to hear you now. I was asking if you think perhaps that uh, the Premier is targeting your department since you say you only spent about 4 million rand of the 610. No, no, thanks for the opportunity and, and, and thanks once more uh, uh, um, uh, to the to the ANCA. No, no, we met as an executive council on Wednesday in the early hours of morning at 10 a.m. in the morning because Wednesday is our cabinet day. We were engaging to check the issue of the spending of the COVID-19. I must just place it on record that of the 610 million spent by the provincial government, COCT has received nothing on that. And that must be placed on record. So why Number then two, would the Premier, I'm sorry to, to, to interject, so why would the Premier then um, place your department under investigation as well, with, as well as the others? Why would she include COCTA? No, no, I don't know why, but... Um, COCTA has utilized its own internal funds because you know that you are dealing with the regulation. It, I, was just, I, I just wanted to separate the 610 million and the pronouncement on the investigation that we are not part of the 610 million. But yes, the department has spent 6 million of its own internal budget. I wanted to clarify, clarify that part first. But I was part of the meeting that has agreed that indeed there should be public scrutiny and there should be investigation. Now on the basis that my department has been pronounced by the Honorable Premier, which we support, that uh, she's going to appoint an independent investigation team. One therefore feel um, obliged for, in the spirit of good governance, that she, I must request a, a special leave so that when the interview takes place, I'm not there. All right, so you, you want to be cleared um, away from you being at work. Okay, so um, are you confident that your books are clean? No, the books are clean. Um, as I'm saying, I must recall, repeat this. We've got nothing from the 610 million. Mm -hmm. We're not part of that share. It's our own internal utilized money. But the books are clean. That's why we're welcoming the investigation. But what was a halapaloo was that there was a thinking that we are part of the 610 million. We are not part of that. We welcome the investigation. We are going to cooperate. And uh, I have since met with the Premier yesterday at half past two. And uh, she has not granted the leave of, 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 of absence, and which I have accepted that with both hands. And, uh, and of course, we want to reiterate that we support good governance and the investigation must, must continue. There is nothing untowards. In, the, in, in relation to this issue. Mm. All right, what will, we, what will happen, sir, if you find out that there was misappropriation of funds in your department? In terms of the legislation of the country, I am not, um, I'm not sitting in any committee of supply chain. Remember that there are three committees in government of supply chains. There's speed specification, evaluation, and adjudication. I've said when I got into this government, I said the heads will roll when, when it comes to issues of corruption. So if there's anything that is going to be defined unto what heads must roll. Including, including yours? My, including yours. Including my head. All right. So you will fall on your sword if anything is found. Um, but what would then happen in terms of the money that you have, uh, that, that has uh, gone missing? What would, the, what would you be your suggestion? Because after your head rolls and other people's head roll, um, there's still money that would be missing. No, remember, if there's an investigation, you don't preempt the investigation. If the investigation, when it arrives to conclusion, it indicates that Mandam CB had a company who spent one million rand. And if that has happened, there are two things that happens. Man must go to jail and the man must repay back to... But to we know, America. but I'm sorry, MEC, we know that um, that's not what been, what's been happening in the ANC. There's been a lot of, um, you know, proof of corruption within the government, whether it's in Mpumalanga or nationally, but nobody really goes to jail, not, not people in your position. There's one example of that, of, of a person that has been found guilty.
Mm. Because people that have been found guilty, I remember it was Tony Ngeni, who was sent to jail. It was uh, Chekis Levy, who was sent to jail. Who has not been sent to jail? There are many more that I can count that they went to jail. Who but you would agree that that's less, would, you would agree that that number is less than the number that, uh, you know, South Africans expect to see paying the price for the corruption that's happening within your party? No, but South Africa is a constitutional democracy and that we've got the system of justice. It has not found anyone in the ANC guilty. Because you can only, you can only send a person to jail when he or she is guilty. I don't speak about uh, rumors and many other things. Those that were killed, I told you, they went to jail, and many of them that they went to jail. All right. There's still um, that uh, uh, that Nkomazi, 27.3 million rand uh, investigation. How far is that going? When we received the when we received the the the, the, the complaint about Nkomazi, it was remember, it was in June. Now, what we did as a department, we have utilized the Constitution, Section 106, 1A. I have instructed, I have made an undertaking, remember, that I'm going to investigate. I have since instructed the acting HOT to wrote to the municipal manager of Komazi, whom he has responded back to the department. And the law says that after somebody has responded in terms of Section 106, you then have to make a determination as an MEC on the way forward. And from where I sit, I've made a determination. I'm not satisfied about the response. I finalized and prepared forensic report for investigation, which I'm going to present to the Premier and eventual to Cabinet. We are going to investigate through a forensic. All right, thank you very much for your time. Kokta MEC in Mbumalanga, Mandlam CB, promising us that his head will also roll if any corruption is found in his department.